From flying humanoids to synthetic organisms, we take a look at some of the most amazing robotics out there. We begin with number 7, and it's also the biggest robot in the world, which stems from the Gundam universe. It weighs over 25 tons, and towers over 60 feet. 24 articulated joints move the entire contraption, but it is relatively slow. The company plans to offer an AR experience which would allow visitors to look out of the robot's cockpit as it moves around. But it cannot actually fly, and it's relatively stationary to its surrounding platform. Moving on, we get to the modified Iron Cub. Remember that robotic preschooler which gave basic impressions? Well, now it has a jetpack, and it's about to fly around its human counterparts. The purpose is to establish a contact point between the robot and environment, thus making flying platforms more versatile. Another benefit from this weird robot is to design an actuated flying exoskeleton for humans. So the robot kind of acts like a test bed for future developments. Ultimately, it could combine automated flight abilities with the next generation Green Goblin. Or it could just be another power up for the upcoming robot takeover. There are tons of humanoid robots coming out right now, but the Emeka is a pretty impressive one. Engineered Arts has designed a new variant which will work with humans and provide relatable natural human gestures. This particular robot is a testbed for machine learning, but more specifically, it's derived from Mesmer technology, which was developed to display a vast range of human emotions. We are really close to building emotional AI, but we still have some ways to go in terms of developing an AI which understands theory of mind. This basically means that it would understand the needs of the user. This type of technology is not just limited to a robotic platform, and it could be developed through a VR or a display technology. Ultimately, this could be one of the biggest potential markets out there, and whichever company builds and develops this could reach into the billions of dollars in profits. Machine learning could be used to interpret human emotions, but it can also quickly adapt to playing a variety of sports with humans in just a matter of minutes. Taking elements such as velocity and orientation, the algorithm learns through trial and error. The system uses two cameras to track the ball every 7 milliseconds. The end result is a shot with an average deviation of 25 centimeters within its intended location. It's not quite at a pro level as it's actually limited by its mechanical arm rather than the algorithm. The next position is the hardened underwater modular robotic snake. It is built out of several waterproof modules and these in turn have multiple thrusters and turbines. This allows the robot to maneuver in very tight areas, including pipes, tanks, and even offshore rigs. The only drawback is that it's typically remote controlled via FPV, so it's not completely automated and it is tethered. Another really cool robot to check out is from Pleont Energy, and this particular one features an underlating propulsion system. Its fins have hyperbolic geometry, which can crawl like a millipede or swim like a ray. And basically, it can travel over sand, ice, or even in the water. It also has automation abilities, so it's a very versatile unit that doesn't need to be tethered. At number 2, the Snailfish. It may not seem very much, but this soft robot can navigate 11,000 meters deep in the ocean. The untethered bot has an onboard power supply with integrated electronics in a silicon matrix. Dielectric elastomer material is used for the robot's flapping fins, and this allows the robot to maneuver in very remote areas, including the Marianas Trench. This means it can handle 15,000 pounds per square inch, literally making it to be one of the toughest machines out there. Ultimately, it means that soft robotics can be used in a wide variety of locations where normal robots would have a pretty hard time in. There's a very notable liquid robot which is being developed right now, and this can operate autonomously and continuously without electrical input. These machines basically consume salt and this allows the synthetic creature to cluster and carry cargo. One day a particular chemical could draw this particular machine into a specific area. And it might be possible for a central AI system to command and control these things in order to carry out a function. Amazingly, this is just only the beginning of what is really being developed. At number one, the Xenobot. These computer-designed and hand-assembled organisms were first created a couple years ago. These cells have a genome of a frog and work together through a collective intelligence. An algorithm designs custom shapes and basically strains all these cells together to perform a task. However, now these machines can collect loose stem cells and actually replicate. No other animal or plant replicates in this way, so it's pretty outstanding. 
In the future, these types of robots could do things such as pulling out microplastics in the ocean, or even building bigger machines. We just do not really know yet. But furthermore, Xenobots could lead to a better understanding on how cells actually work and interact. Ultimately, the future is here, and we are very well looking at the beginning of hybrid biological machines. But I would like to know what you think about all this, so please leave a comment, like the video if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.